Etsy is a middle income marketplace or higher. Yeah. And it's a more educated marketplace. So they tend to spend a little more money in the product. So I don't have to go cheap. And they um, expect a higher quality, especially they expect a high quality. that are looking for, you know, uh, that's why Etsy is supposed to be either true vintage or handmade because that's their platform. They don't want a bunch of cheap Chinese sellers that are coming in here selling a bunch of stuff like dollar store items. These are handmade. These are very niche. That's very um, specific about what people are buying there. And a lot of people are buying stuff to then create new things with on Etsy. So that's another thing that, you know, fi figuring out, knowing your customer. I'm always talking about knowing your customer and every platform has a different demographic. For example, Amazon, everybody on Amazon, they want mostly, I would say 99% of people on Amazon, they want fast shipping, they want it delivered and they want brand new items. Now, yes, you can buy used books and use some used stuff on Amazon, but the majority of Amazon customers, people want variety, speed, convenience, variety, and they want it fast. So that's your Amazon customer. They're willing to pay extra to get something shipped, two day free shipping, you know, everything from your HDMI cords to grocery items to your Nike shoes. They just, they want it, they want it delivered, they're busy, they don't have time to shop. eBay people are looking for one of a kind kind of items, rare collectibles and cheap eBay customers want the bottom line price. They want auctions. They want to buy something for five bucks. that's worth 50. You know, eBay is just going to be a bottom line price customer. And then you have your Etsy customers. Your Etsy customers are a little bit more sophisticated. Like you said, a little bit more sophisticated. They're looking for custom. They're looking for unique, different, but higher end. They, they want something handmade, but they don't want it, you know, junk handmade. They want something that are good, high quality, unique gifts, different, bizarre, kind of strange things and or crafty kind of create it, do it yourself, DIY type stuff. So knowing your customer and which platform you're selling on really helps you cater to them because there's different customers on different platforms. So you figured out your eBay or your Etsy customer is a little bit more, you know, middle income. They're going to spend a little bit more money, which also helps you, especially if you're selling digital files, make a little bit more money off the top. So um, you start yes. with the digital files. What, what, uh, uh, and that's for the cricket machines, you said? Yes. And you nailed it, right? Etsy is that. It's exact, exactly that. It's a more female oriented marketplace. Amazon is very balanced. Etsy is probably 80% females buying. Mm -hmm. And yes, they will buy things for men. But they will buy things for men that are more into feminine side in the design, like all ma very manly designs. And Etsy will not sell because, you know, it's female buying for the man. Um, there are and there's also the two trends, right? There is like the, 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 the ones that were looking for very unique, very hipster, you know, like stuff. And then it's the very conservative middle of the class. I'll buy not the only things made in America mm -hmm. type of consumer. And that's what they go to Etsy. They are like, I don't want to go to Amazon because I don't want to buy Chinese crap. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Etsy because I want to support a, a, you know, a small business doing things in America, manufacturing in America. So having a big sign in your store that says, hey, I'm, I, it, it's made in America. It's a big plus when people go into Etsy and look into that. 